Oh no. The damn FBI. That's who it was. I'm going to jail, boys. Mrs. Kowalski. Yes? FIA. FIA? The French Intelligence Agency. Oh, I see. No, ma'am. The Overseeing Infiltration Center does not handle the kind of situation we have here. What situation? That's exactly why we are here. Oh, great. Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and glory to Astotska. I, I mean, uh, from Martyoshka with love. Glory to Martyoshka. Yes, Irony Curtain from Martyoshka with love is the name of today's game. It is a point-and-click adventure game that takes place during the times of communism, I guess, in the 50s. Uh, I love point-and-click adventure games, though I understand it's not everyone's cup of tea, a glass of vodka, but communism and the interest of the Cold War and a little bit of uh, point-and-click adventure, that's all interesting to me. So, that's what I'm going to play here today. If you want to see a full playthrough, click or tap that like button. If we get enough support, we'll do a full run of this game. Otherwise, consider this a first look. I've uh, dabbled in it just for a few seconds to see what everything was about, and it seems fun. So far, so good. And it kind of gives me a little bit of, uh, maybe a little bit of... Uh, What's the name of the game? Papers, please. That's what I was thinking of. Of course. Gives me those vibes. So let's continue and see how things are. An idea is something that you have. An ideology is something that has you. Damn. Obviously the North Korean flag there. A lot of communist memes in this game, for sure. And there's Papa Stalin. And the fall of communism. Great. And there's our homeboy. Evan is his name, and... I guess running is his game. He's trying to outrun communism. Everything is on fire. Oh. Okay. Oh, nice. PPSHs those guys have. The developers of the game have obviously done a lot of research on stuff to make it cartoony. Thank you, ma'am. I love you. You can obviously t see T-34s, PPSHs. But yet a cartoony style. Thank you, everyone. Yes. Woo! And they're leading an anti-communist revolution, I assume. And we gotta get on the last train out of town. Look at how skinny that cow is. Uh-oh. Oh, well, the train is leaving town. Train! Everything's changed! Stop! Oh no, they can't hear me. They'll die because of me. All right, we got to get started and stop that train. Looks like it's loaded with anti-aircraft guns and tanks and troops. Oh man, I wonder where they're going. I don't know where they're invading, but we got to stop them. There's no need to be crying. It's the Katusha song he's singing. Awesome. All right, uh, so point-and-click adventure games, obviously, you know, if you press spacebar, you can see all the things you can interact with. I guess in this case, we can pick up the phone and dial number 625 to get started Six, here. Two. Five. Five. Hello. Ooh, rubles. This is Ideological Support Senior Political Officer Brezhnev speaking. What is it, citizen? Uh, good day, officer. I... What? I can't hear a damn thing. Ah. They're buzzing at the receiver like a train is coming. That's true. Louder, citizen, louder. Uh, how do we stop the train? I'm at the train station, and my train's leaving. Do you know how I can stop it? This doesn't really fit into our main ideology, but there's an emergency cabinet at the station. Inside the cabinet, there should be a shortwave radio. Unless it's been stolen, you can use it to contact the train's crew. Thank you. I can take it from here. Thanks for now, officer. Goodbye. All right. So now we got to get into this, all the boxes. Let's take a look. There's the semaphore to stop the train. Okay, so just like communism, yeah, everything's layer of uh, bureaucracy. So let's check our inventory. Razor blade and a straightened bucket handle. Uh, okay, let's take the razor blade and cut the rope. And let's take the key. And hello. Oh, that's Miss Sesha with her kid. I hope at least they didn't get arrested. Uh, okay, can we use the key on this? It doesn't fit. Uh, this is the key to something else. Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Driver, did you lose your key? Pay for the replacement. Okay, that sounds very capitalist to me, by the way. Hmm. All right, now a new number. Do we have a new number? 
Or no, wait. We can use the key here. Oh, there we go. We'll just get the... Oh, I'll get the key out of there. Perfect. Thought we had a new number from here, but never mind. Uh, let's go for this. All in all, life is Another just about finding the right key. Damn key. Okay, I can actually put the key in here now. Jesus, it's like communism, isn't it? 420. You're dumb and stupid, but you know I love you, so if you forget the combination again, call me. M. 420, and his name is Vanya? Okay, let's call whoever M is. 420, brah. There you go, lots of memes. Hello? Uh... Hi, this is Vanya. It's me, Vanya. Oh, it's you. I didn't recognize you. Your voice sounds different. You were eating pickles again, weren't you? Pickles? Huh? Uh, no, I wasn't. The uh, hell? Listen, this is very urgent. Mom? Did, did you just call me your mom? Oh, you're drunk. You're at work, and you know that. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I, I didn't drink anything. We're eating pickles after all. The pickles. I know it. You're sleeping on the couch tonight. Uh, okay, okay, but now I need the combination to my lock. It's my birthday. Oh, God. I'm kidding. Don't worry, Vanya. I wouldn't do that to you. Seven, seven, seven. Will you remember that? Yes. Three sevens. Uh, Got it, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Thank you, ma'am. Jeez, all right. They get wordy with these point and clicks, but that's all right. Uh, let's see. It has character and charm, I must say. And the correct combination is... So the 777 seven, seven is the combo. 777. Seven, seven. Yes, it worked. A shortwave radio. Maybe I can contact the train driver. Excellent. Okay, let's see. We got our shortwave radio. Can I take a look at it? Antenna connect. Oh, it's missing an antenna. Well, that's quite obvious. The straightened bucket handle. There we go. Okay, let's radio for help. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yes, Comrade Minister, sir. Stop the train immediately! But, uh, Comrade Minister, order... Uh, the situation has changed. Just a few days ago, I wouldn't have dreamt I'd be in a situation like this. Chapter 1, The Call. One day earlier in the States. Oh wow, this takes place over the course of like a day. I was a simple young journalist back then, speaking at an international conference on the beautiful idea that is communism. Obviously the US. Okay, uh, let's see. We have an invitation. Oh, it's 1951, okay. And we have a suitcase. What's in there? I often want... Open it up. Uh, comic books and... No, oh, wait. Speeches, records, and slides. Yeah, that's going to be important, I'm sure. Let's take some of that stuff. Uh, what do we have to do? Uh, that's Mr. Uh, so-and-so. Uh, he's the representative for the organizer of the head of the conference. Such an important man. Hello, sir. <clears throat> what? Good day, sir. Sorry, uh, there's no entry here. The program is live. And a uh, good day to you too, sir. Uh, while I appreciate your diligence, I am one of the speakers. I I'm afraid I'm tardy, but I really must get inside. Uh, my speech is a glorious message that will enlighten and empower the good folks here. Mr. Tardy, eh? <laughs> I find it strange that you're afraid of your own name, but let me check the list. Uh, no, no, I'm tardy, not I'm tardy. I'm Kowalski. Evan Kowalski. And I'm tardy. I'm sorry, I, I don't have a Mr. Kowalski or a Mr. Tardy on the list of speakers. My speech fits the theme of the conference perfectly, since it's about communism and... But what? I, I must be on that list. Uh, besides, I, I received an invitation from you. Please, show it to me and we can clear all of this up. The voice acting here is super solid. Obviously this guy here is Groucho Marx. Generic capitalist guy one and generic capitalist guy two, just top hats and monocles all across all across the board. All right, uh, here's your invitation, sir. Hmm, uh, that is indeed an invitation from us. I told you. Good. Please accept my apologies. Apology I was not accepted. There was a schedule change. Uh, I think I can squeeze you in during the coffee break. 
Please proceed to the stage. Thank you. Oh, and don't worry, while you're walking across the stage, our producer will definitely be playing commercials. Uh, okay. There we go, we'll take our seat. Projector, switch. Good morning. My name is Sean Redkick, and I represent the people of New Pork. Blood red socialism is pouring in across the borders of our world. We can't just stand idly by and watch as the enemies of freedom undo what our fathers fought for. We're not gonna watch men die face down in the muck in this bloody war on the peninsula so that the red invasion can secretly pour into our country. Communist evil. Uh, communist evil. Uh, communist evil. It's like Santa Claus? Psst. It's like a real Santa Claus. Thanks. Communist evil is like a real life Santa Claus. Because it, uh, well, it sneaks into our houses, doesn't it? And eats up all our cookies, leaves us presents that we have to return because no one wants another pair of socks. Oh, I Wait. love socks. That's not what communist evil does. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> As we all know. Enemy intelligence agents have infiltrated our country. Uh -oh. They could even be here right now in our midst. Like, for example, right there. Or over there. Maybe you're one. Or your lovely wife there. Yeah, she could definitely be one. Oh, She's yeah. She's got that commie look, all right. That's or right. You, you, or you, yes, you, are a communist spy. A sleeper agent working in the shadows. And such agents, uh... Uh, are called love. They are called love. Yes. These sleeper agents are called love and sin. And since love can't exist without sin, well, I mean, we're getting into some philosophical territory here. Yeah, damn. No, that's not what I wanted to say at all. I urge you all to stay vigilant, and even the smallest symptom, the barest hint of communist activity, should be reported to the authorities immediately. In closing, I would like to... Uh... Take everything back I said. You'd like to take back everything you said. In closing, I would like to apologize, because my prompter seems to be misbehaving. Communism sucks! I'm out. As I've just been informed by our producer, instead of our planned break, we will have an unplanned guest. It just so happens I have already had the displeasure of being smeared in his rag of a newspaper. I'm sure you'll all love him. Ladies and gentlemen, Evan Kowalski. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Uh, yeah. Great. Now I gotta talk. Uh, hi. Um... Comment, subscribe, First, like button, I, I don't know. First, I need to show the, the slides and play the glorious Matryoshkin National Anthem. Oh. Okay. Wait, this projector doesn't even have a screen. Oh, great. Oh, wait, do I have a screen? No. All right, let's take a look at the slides. I guess I can't look at them. Let's go over to the projector. Maybe we can put them in there. Oh, there we go. Slide holder. Okay. And we put the slides in there. Oh, crap. Mom! Look at she's put on. Oh no! Oh no! Learning to. My God! All right. Um. Let's see. I suppose it goes bottom to top or top to bottom. I'm not sure. Uh, we have to organize it by the year. Twenty-two. Uh. Let's see. Forty-three. Forty-five. Forty-nine. Uh. Fifty. Okay. So this one goes down. Okay. Let's see if they're in order. Fifty. 49, 45, 43, 22. And then these are all kids' photos and stuff of the family. Okay. Let's pop that bad boy in there. Okay, hopefully this works. Rats! The slides aren't working. I must have forgot. Oh, you have to flip it on? There we go. Okay, let's see if this works. Dang! There's something wrong with the screen. Okay, they seem to be in the right order. I see there's a little rolled up thing over here, so let's go talk to what's his name and see if we can actually grab that. Hello, sir, set manager. The thing's broken. Uh, canvas. You know, I am prepared to give a slide presentation and 
At the risk of you calling me Mr. Prepared, <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that there's no canvas on the projector screen. Yeah. Mr. Kowalski, please understand you weren't on the list, so we didn't receive any instructions regarding your needs. That's okay. Fortunately, we are professionals, so I have some canvas right here. There will be a break soon, and someone will install it. No, no. Uh, no need for a break. I'll put it up myself in no time. The working class of the cities and farms isn't afraid of a little hard work. As you wish. Here you go. The projector canvas. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'm going back to the stage. Alright, let's get back up there. Okay, we got everything we need, so now it's time to put it onto the uh, canvas. Or onto the screen. Okay, it should be low enough. And up one. Okay, good. All right, now we got to play the national anthem, which is in the suitcase. Okay, so let's see. Gramophone records. All right, which one is which? Uh, I guess we got to look at the gramophone first. Open that up. Okay, what do we got? Uh, the sandwich march or he? Oh, that looks communism AF. If All I right. was getting paid for bad ideas, <laughs> I'd have a big chip. Ah, okay, let's put that on there. I love that voice actor. He's good. All right, 45. Uh, I don't know what that does. Go. Boo! 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 I still need to show the slide. All right, I'm on it. All right, show the slides. Go. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. God, I hope that worked. For my speech. Well, it seems great. <laughs> okay. Where did I put my notes? Uh, uh just a moment. Oh no. Oh, I forgot about the the speech. Damn, my whole speech is out of order. Uh, how do we organize this thing? Oh, he wrote a comic book, a comic written for the contest if I could change the world by Evan Kowalski. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. There's Oh, this has to go in a certain order. It looks like a meteorite is hitting Earth, and we need to stop it with communism. Okay, so he has a burger in his hand. He takes that burger to Russia, gives it to Stalin. Stalin then s sends him back with the Red Star. The Red Star is flying towards uh, Statue of Liberty. It bounces off, and communism forever. Okay, I think that's <laughs> I think that's how it goes, right? I did it. And my teacher said I had cognitive issues. That's right. Okay, let's, uh, I mean, no, that's wrong. Where did I put my notes? Uh, uh just a moment. I just had them. Oh, do I have to... Good morning, oh, comrades. Go. Those in the studio and those watching at home. If you're thinking, where have I seen this dapper gentleman before, then perhaps you were in Booniesville several days ago at the HASP Manufacturers Conference, where I spoke about the responsibility of the working class in building a single-class society. A little about me. My name is Evan Kowalski, and I am the editor-in-chief of the Daily Worker Monthly. Uh, by the way, I highly recommend buying a subscription. I have come here today, uh, that's capitalism. unexpectedly, with a very important, exciting ideological message. Communism is good. In fact, communism is the best. Boo. 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 <laughs> There's no room in our country for Boo. communism. Shut your commie mouth, Evan. Get wow. lost. <laughs> now, gentlemen, there's no need to get angry. Are you telling our viewers that poor people shouldn't have more money? Do you hate the poor? Are you against the idea that every human being is equally important and entitled to a fair chance? Are we not all humanitarians? I won't be part of this farce. And there, you see? He runs away using his costly running shoes. Do the poor not deserve to run? I wonder if one of my other colleagues will engage me in a debate. I'm interested to see how they will claim that education, culture, and industry is not in our common national good, and how every citizen should not have the same equal rights to reap their benefits? Enough! Ha! See? That's what I thought. No one's brave enough for such a challenging discussion. Okay, then. Let's move on to the powerful beacon that is 
beautiful Matryoshka. Matryoshka. Located just behind the Iron Curtain between the Capitalist Union and the Socialist Alliance. Boo! Get off the stage! Uh, Matryoshka Boo! serves as a shining example of communism Boo! done right. Get off the stage, commie! Boo! All glory and honor belongs to the leader who infallibly and confidently leads his nation towards a bright future. There are so many tomatoes, dude. Where, where the, where's all this produce coming from? Burn the building down. I'm picking up on a little tension in the room, so uh, how about a joke? Uh, uh, what would we have in the States if we didn't have capitalism? Everything! <laughs> wow. Oh, hello. Spy equipment. I'm at the meeting of the party. Make it quick. Hi, Stalin. Glory to Matryoshka, comrade leader. Ah, uh, Major Orlova. How's your uh, vacation at Uncle Sam? More fruitful than ever. Please turn on the capitalist channel, comrade leader. What the hell? Comrade leader. See, you found me a very interesting souvenir. Bring him to me at once. Who's on the yes, line? Comrade leader. For the glory of Matryoshka. There was a third guy on the line. I don't know who that was. 59 minutes later. In the leader's heart. He gave an hour long uh, speech. In conclusion to this undoubtedly illuminating speech, I will tell you, comrades. My greatest wish, that one day our nations will join together and goose step, I, I mean, uh, whoa, march whoa, whoa. together in the one true direction whoa. towards a stronger state, join together with Matryoshka. Stop the program! I thank you, comrades, for your attention, and I wish you a good day. Okay, bye. I need to get out of here before I get attacked. Get out of here, get out of here. Oh. Hello. Wonderful presentation. The Matryoshkin authorities are impressed with your work. As am I. Uh, oh, uh, thank you, Miss... Uh... I'm Anna. Anna Iglov. Someone will contact you once you get home. In case of any emergency, this envelope will help you contact me. We'll meet again soon. Comrade Aiden. Thank you, ma'am. Authorities, envelope. Wait, what? All right, let's leave. Time to go home, boys. Oh, you're back. How did it go? It went great. Well, up until I started. Then everyone just laughed. As usual. Oh, uh, by the way, some tomatoes should be arriving soon. So, that's something. Oh, uh, you had a call from Matryoshka. Your mother memorized the number. They said you should call them back. Oh, one more thing. You remember that record, the sandwich march? Yeah? What about it? I've decided that... Since I'm a man now, I'm too old for that kind of music. I gave it to the cab driver as a tip. You... You... That was a rare limited edition pressing. It was worth hundreds of dollars. Oh. I see. Oop. Sorry, uh, Dad. Really? Well, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. And this man just lost hundreds of dollars. <laughs> well, I suppose just don't worry about it. And chin up. You were great on TV. Thanks, Dad. That's a dad thing to say, I suppose. Okay, let's go talk to Mom. Uh, let's see, I suppose she's upstairs? Oh, let's go upstairs. Hi, Mom. Let's go talk to Mom. Hi, how was the conference? A nice girl came to hear me speak, and she said she loved it. It turned out she was from... Matryoshka! And she said they'd heard about me there. 
Do you understand? About me! I also got an envelope from her that was sealed with Matryoshka's coat of arms! Hmm, that must be a very important envelope. Well, it sounds like you had quite the day. A speech and a new friend. Thanks, Mom. Uh, Dad said someone called for me. Oh, yes. They were calling from Matryoshka and said you can call them back at 007-1234. Oh, and give them the password, Zagrislav. Thanks, Mom. Zagrislav, okay. Thanks, Mom. I need to take care of a few things. Let's go look, take a look at the flag. A book? What's in the book? Gulliver's Travels? Oh, nice. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I knew it. There's a passport. What is that all about? My passport. Let's see. Passport to the States. Born in 27. This makes him 24 years old. I'm 24, but I'll bet I could almost pass for 25. I'm, I'm a 25. Wow, 24. What a time to be alive. All right, I don't think there's anything else in here. Let's go downstairs. Run, boy. Run like the wind. Okay, let's go downstairs. Okay, so we got to make a couple of phone calls. So, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 0. Oh, 7. 7. 1, 1 2, 3, three four. 4. Okay. Quiet. Huh. No signal. Damn. Dad, when I dial the number to Matryoshka, nothing happens. The phone's dead and there's no signal. Go check if the international switchboard in the basement is malfunctioning. International switchboard in the basement? What the hell? Oh my god, it's a bomb shelter. Look at this. There's even a vault over there. International switchboard. Telephone switchboard. There it is. Oh, a freaking raccoon. Oh, I was going to run from him. That scared the hell out of me. Uh, Okay. Oh, we got to match up symbols. Oh, this is going to be hell. I'm really poor at these types of puzzles. Let's see if I can do it quickly. Uh, okay, so each one of these chords has to match the symbol. So, let's see. Uh, this, nope. Oh, boy, this is going to take a minute. Oh, actually, wait, this blue one's easy. Hold on, that one is this one and that one. Okay, that's done. All right, maybe it's not too bad after all. Then I need to do an X with a top and a bottom line. That's, uh, this one, where the yellow one is. There we go. Let's do white now. Wait a minute, where's white? White is just an X, with a line at the top and bottom. Shouldn't that be this one? No. There it is. Okay, two of them are done. Okay, let's do the yellow one. That one looks almost right. It's got to be this one and this one. Oh god, I'll never get this one. All right, I'll, I'll come back and do the yellow one last. Let's do the red one. Red one is this. This one here, right? And then we need something in the middle. Like this? Nope. Something in the middle. Where the yellow one was. No. Uh, so this is going to have to be trial and error for me. I'm not good at these types of puzzles. Uh, okay, let's come back to that one. I'll put this one up here just to get it out of the way. Okay, let's try. All right, so back to yellow. It's got to be... It's got to be the ones on the top. So this one. And then... This one. Nope, this one. There it is. Okay, now the red one. The red one's got to be here. No. It's hard for me to picture these in my mind. It's the only trouble I've had so far. This ain't even a trouble. This is just kind of a... Just a regular puzzle, I suppose. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. And then if I just reverse this, uh, no, I need to find a symbol that's like that on the other side, close, 
All the other ones are right, so I can't move them. Okay, not that one. I'm just gonna have to trial and error. <laughs> I can't figure it out in my head. <laughs> I'm too tired. You ever have those types of days where you just... It's, it's been a while. It's been a long day. Okay, this blue one seems right, doesn't it? All the other ones are correct, so I can't change them. Wait a minute, maybe this is it. No? Oh, that almost looks like it. Okay, it needs lines down the side, so I think it's got to be the one with the... No, it doesn't have to be the one with the X. Okay, that kind of makes a B. I'm just going to have to try them all. I think it should be that one, but then how do I get two lines on the side? There we go, I got it! Whew! Well, that took a minute. Alright, let's head upstairs. Okay. So how's the phone? The raccoon jumped on the switchboard and messed up the cables, but I think I've got it fixed. Good. Alright, let's take a look at our letter from what's-her-name. Well, let's see what she wrote here. Comrade Evan, stay vigilant. We believe someone might have seen us together. If you get caught, please deny everything. I await your signal, Anna Eglove. Ma'am, you walked up to me to give me a letter that says we may have been seen together? Uh, okay. So this must be the signal to let her know that I need her or something. I need to put a plotted plant in the window. Okay. Uh, let's call again. Uh, zero, 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 seven, zero, seven, one, one two, two, three, three four. four. Hello? This is Evan. Password. Uh, oh god, I don't remember how mom spelled it. Uh, Zabi? No, Zer, no. This one. Zegrizislav. Yes, correct. That is the current password. If we want to continue this conversation, you need to place near the phone, since this is an official conversation, a photo of the leader. Uh, what? Okay, uh, give me just a second. You want me to go to find a photo of this guy? Alright, well... This dude had nothing but Kami memorabilia up in his room, so it's got to be up there somewhere. Oh, good. Mom's done vacuuming. That means we can check the desk. A uh, list of subscribers. A list of faithful subscribers to my communism propagating newspaper. Okay. Let's grab some scissors. That seems useful. Hello. What is this? Hello. Who is that? I've grown very attached to the woman in this photo. I've always felt like she's important to me somehow. It's probably your grandma, dude. Or your mom. All right, and there's the photo of the leader. Perfect. Anything else? Typewriter. Okay, I we're, keep my we're good. I keep my we're good. Let's head back down. Now we gotta get back on the phone. The guy's waiting. Dad, don't be on the phone. I'm talking to communists. Boy, that was probably like the worst thing your kid could have been in the 50s was a commie. At least that's what they would think. All right, let's put the photo I'm next back. to there. And I have the picture, sir. I mean, officer, sir. Comrade. Uh, right. Officer, sir, uh, comrade. Of course. Okay, let's not drag this out. This is not a cheap call. The leader has heard about your presentation and invites you to travel to Matryoshka in express time. Do you accept, comrade? Our attaché will contact you immediately regarding this matter. Do you accept our invitation, comrade? Oh, oh my. I am... Uh, I didn't even get to say yes. Hello? Hello? What the hell happened? Dad, the phone's dead again. Go down to the basement and give that damn switchboard a kick. What the hell? I was on the phone. Is someone using the 56k di dial up? What the hell? Was somebody in the closet and ran out and tried to get out of here? Hello? Hello? And who are you? <coughs> that sounds like a pig. Great. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything in the closet. Let's go upstairs. Dad, someone's in the phone room. Oh no. The damn FBI. That's who it was. I'm going to jail, boys. Mrs. Kowalski. Yes? FIA. FIA? The French Intelligence Agency. Oh, I see. No, ma'am. The Overseeing Infiltration Center does not handle the kind of situation we have here. What situation? That's exactly why we are here. Oh, great. There has been unauthorized communication with Matryoshka coming from this neighborhood. 
We are performing a thorough decommunization of every house <laughs> in this area, starting with this one. And how long will that take? A couple of days. Days? days? And where are we? I mean, and what are... And what are we supposed to do in the meantime? Don't worry, Mr. Kowalski. We have prepared temporary accommodations for you. Your relocation will begin shortly. Prison. Darn We're going to prison. Oh, well. We better start packing. Evan, these gentlemen are trying to convince me that you were contacted by a spy from Matryoshka and that you were given something. I already explained to them that nothing like that could have taken place because you're too good of a boy, right? You didn't take anything from anyone. Uh, of course I didn't. She didn't give me anything. No envelopes. Of course not. You'd never take things from strangers. Still, the gentlemen want to have a look around the house. Uh, literally go up to my bedroom. It is littered with communism. You guys don't have to check the TV. You don't have to interview mom. Stay out of the fridge. What do you? That's a pineapple, sir. All right, guys. This is it for my uh, first look at this game. It was a lot, a lot of fun. There's uh, more puzzles to it. I'm sure there's a lot more uh, to do with this game. We have to get over to that other country and do much more. But interesting little point-and-click adventure. I wanted to share it. I thought it was cool, and I hope it gets a lot of support because it's clear. It's quite clear that the developers put a lot of work into the art style and into the voice acting. I'm actually familiar with a couple of those voice actors, uh, such as uh, the guy who was at the podium and Dad. I've definitely heard them before. So anyway, you guys take care. Have a great day. Thank you very much for leaving a like and subscribing and showing your support. And if you'd like to see a full playthrough, you know what to do. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for joining me. Glory to Estotska? No. Glory to Martyoshka. I actually can't even remember how to say it. But anyway, I'll see you all soon. Goodbye. Have a good one.